So we're looking at Skyway right here, and then we've got I-5 coming this way. We've got um, 599 heading up towards the port. It connects into 405 right around this bump towards Renton, and you can see the light rail lines going past us already. So where, what are you shooting now? <laughs> Well, I'm Zach Hudgens. I'm out on my deck in my backyard. Great sunny day here in Tukwila. Um, you can see uh, a lot of my district going this way towards Seattle. Uh, I was first elected in 2002, and I ran because I wanted to help people understand the new global economy. I wanted to make sure that we are creating good jobs in our state. This is one of the most diverse districts there is in the state, no matter how you define diversity. We've got over 111 languages spoken in the school districts. We've got the most industrialized area in the state. But the 11th district really is transportation. Whether it's rail lines, whether it's rivers, whether it's the port, whether it's I-5, 405, 518, 515, 167, 169, they're all in the 11th district. We're here in my backyard and you can see I-5 right out my back window. You can see the light rail line being constructed. So the things we talk about in Olympia, I live with in Tukwila every single day. So I'm happy to have you here in my backyard and happy to show you around the district a little bit. The Duwamish River runs the whole district, starting from where it's the Green River down by Fort Dent Park, all the way up into the Sound. It's really important to protect the Duwamish River because it's indicative of everything that's going on around it. The people, the industry, the jobs. If we protect the Duwamish River and the salmon in the Duwamish River, we're probably doing a good job protecting the people and the jobs and the economy that live and work around the Duwamish River. Tukwila, it's still nice and quiet and we can enjoy it right here near the community center. You know, this community center is great and it's a great example that we see all over the state in community centers. Community center really does become the focus of the entire city or the entire town around it, especially in small communities like Tukwila. You get everybody coming together in one place to meet their neighbors, to talk about what's going on in their neighborhood, uh, and to really enjoy each other and to help the community be a better place. I want to stop here for two reasons. The first reason is the South Park Bridge. This bridge has been here for over 78 years. We've got about 24,000 cars go over it every single day. Everything from freight to people that live in the neighborhood. It's a huge problem because it needs to be replaced. The two sides of the bridge are moving in opposite directions very, very slowly. And the historical mechanisms aren't gonna work any longer. So it's scheduled to be taken down in 2010. Uh, this is a very important bridge for this community. It's been here for so long and we need to figure out what a good solution is gonna be. I also wanna talk about the Duwamish River. It's become more industrialized. We've got a marina here in South Park. We've got Boeing factories. Uh, it's becoming uh, much heavier used. And uh, there are cleanup sites all along the Duwamish uh, that uh, are still being worked on. We've got seven Superfund sites up and down the river, uh, both with state money and federal money, to try and clean up that bad industrial legacy, try and figure out what new good uses we can use for it. So having boat ramps like this where people can get their kayaks into the river uh, is a great source of uh, new activity and new jobs, new revenue for an old river. South Park used to be its own community. It was where truck farmers used to live and would take their produce into downtown Seattle to sell. The river is clearly a working river. People live a couple of blocks away from a working river. That balance is what we need to work on, protecting people's health in the middle of industrial areas while we're trying to clean up a river is the tough balance we need to strike, protecting those jobs and the health of the people that live around those areas. So we're in Cesar Chavez Park right here. These are singing stones. Uh, an artist from Texas does these. Um, you can pick up a rock and just play with them. Something you don't see everywhere. Uh, and it's a great meeting place for the community. There's a bus stop right over here. Uh, I, everybody should come down and visit. The Port of Seattle is an amazing economic engine for our region. It probably produces in the whole state one out of four, one out of five jobs. And that's an amazing amount of economic vitality that we need to protect. And you can look at every container ship coming in and out of the port, every single truck that's going in and out of the port, and we need to make sure at the state level that the roads and the rails are there to protect those jobs. That's why as you look out at the port here, uh, you think about the port as creating jobs and as energizing jobs. And that's why we need to protect it uh, right here at the mouth of the Duwamish River. 
You know, one of the best things that we've been doing lately is to look at the Puget Sound and the health of Puget Sound. We need to think about what happens upstream, upriver, uh, up in our communities, to make sure that those toxins, that stormwater, doesn't just rush right out here into Puget Sound. I mean, this is a real quality of life issue, and we've really taken a lot of action in the legislature to move forward to clean up Puget Sound, to protect the industry, to protect those jobs, and to protect the health of all the people that live around Puget Sound. So I'm Zach Hudgens, here at Coulon Park in Renton, surrounded by the ducks, surrounded by the beautiful water of Lake Washington. Really appreciate the opportunity and the honor to serve people of the 11th District. That's why I'm in office, is to serve people in the 11th District, to let their voice be heard in Olympia, especially during our budget time, during all of our hearings, during all of our session time, and so that the people of Renton, Tukwila, Burien, SeaTac, and Seattle have a voice in Olympia to make sure that I'm fighting for them. I'm Zach Hudgens. Thank you very much for your time. I love, this is your cultural moment.